and welcome to the newest episode of Beer Betty's. I'm Senya. And I'm Whitney. And uh, tonight we are going to be trying something delicious, I'm sure. Whitney picked it out. Well, tonight we are actually trying something very different. It's from a brewery that we've actually never had tried a beer from before. No. Um, this is the Tommy Knocker Brewery. Um, it's kind of in the Idaho, Colorado area. Uh, it's from a mountain town called Idaho Springs, and it's in the Colorado mountains. It's actually where an old mining town used to be, and the name Tommy Knocker is actually kind of funny. Tommy Knockers were little elves during the 1800s, during the gold rush in the Colorado area, who would help the miners find their gold supposedly. So that's what they named their brewery after. I thought it was very creative. Wait, Tommy Knockers, <clears throat> wasn't that also a Stephen King horror movie? Oh, I don't know, possibly. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if I'm going to like this beer. Am I, I going to see Tommy Knockers? <laughs> These elves are giving you gold, not stabbing you. <laughs> but they were scary. I think they give them they gave them gold well, too. Well, I'll drink yours. How about that? No. Uh, Get off. That's what I Get off. Anyway, so this is going to be one of their seasonals. Uh, this is a coconut Winter war. Oh, excuse me, coconut. A cocoa winter warmer. Um, so literally, hot cocoa. Perfect for the winter season. It's perfect. Uh, so they're really going after kind of like an old school porter winter warmer type feel, and then they also add cocoa powder and honey. So I'm very, very excited about trying this. My friend David Andrews told me about this. So David, we're trying your beer. <laughs> well, I guess it's probably gonna be. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be heavy, just because Colorado does experience an incredibly cold winters. Well, yeah, whereas, and the fact that it's a porter and a winter warmer. <laughs> whereas in Texas, <laughs> we get a, a porter, winter warmer, something, and they're like, it's going to be late because we don't get that cold over here. <laughs> yeah, I love Colorado weather. That's my favorite is the Colorado in the winter. I love New York winters. That's pretty too. Mm-hmm. Still haven't experienced a Boston winter. We'd love to do that. Actually. Oh my God, we are so going back. Although to Boston. the people from Boston are like, "Are you crazy?" <laughs> <laughs> the people from Boston are like, "We don't want you girls back. Y'all, Aww. y'all raped our town." <laughs> but we liked raping your town. It was great. All right, all right. So right off. Okay, I'm holding this up to the light. Um, our key light over here. Yeah, and it's, you it's, cannot see through it whatsoever. Black. It is black. No color. No nothing. Very minimal, off-white head. You can definitely smell a little bit oh. of that cocoa malt. If like, you like the cocoa and the malt, it's beautiful. If you like Godiva dark chocolate, that's what it smells like. That is exactly what it smells like, actually. Yeah, I like a Godiva dark chocolate. Let's see what it tastes like. But it doesn't smell artificial. I mean, although it is an added thing. Um. Wow. That cocoa flavor, like, coats your mouth. Ooh. Like cocoa and malt. And then that it really doesn't have a lingering good. aftertaste. It's really just cocoa and malt right at the start, and then it just kind of disappears. I kind of want to warm it up a little bit, just I because know, right? I think that it would like it would open up a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the one thing is, I know you know we've been told before, and I'm I'm going to address this real quickly. Uh, we've been told before that we try things too quickly, or you know we try beers and what have you. And the way um, when I first designed the show, I wanted to come from a consumer point of view, whereas when you go to a bar especially an American bar, you're going to get a cold mug with something poured from the tap, poured from the bottle, and you're going to immediately taste it. And you're going to immediately, you're going to make that immediate judgment, which is what most consumers do. Now, I know a lot of beer connoisseurs as well as wine connoisseurs will let their beers or their wines sit for a while, let it oxidize a little bit, open up. Um, And this is definitely one of those beers that, I mean, it's delicious from the get-go, but I would love to warm it up and and actually, yeah, and see what it tastes like because I really feel like it would get a lot more out of it. You know, I completely agree. I mean, even now, just as we've been talking, I tried it again, and Mm -hmm. the flavor of the cocoa starts to open up a little bit. Yeah, it becomes a little bit smoother at the end. Uh, It's a very good combination. Cut for like five minutes, and so that way we can let it sit for a bit. Okay. Okay. All right, has it been five minutes? Hmm? (laughs) Oh, okay. Let's do it. All right. So we're back. And we're going to definitely try it now that it's warmed up. We held it up to the lights a little bit. And so it feels a little bit more room temperature. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. Already smell it. You can... It still has more of, a, of that weight in the beginning, which is interesting. The finish is very subtle. Which in a way, you know, quick. I know. I was gonna say it. Actually, I think a lot of people will enjoy that because I know a lot of people. Their main complaint with porters is that they just don't like the finish. I like the finish, but a lot of people don't. So that will be something that I think would really be a big seller on this beer. Um, you can definitely, 
definitely taste the cocoa. Like, just full-on bitter cocoa chocolate. It's very, very oh. good. I like it. it. Yeah, it still has that, like, very strong Godiva chocolate, dark chocolate type mm-hmm. of uh, deal. It is... This would actually be a really great beer um, if you're a little bit daring to pour some into your hot chocolate. Oh, that'd be interesting. You know, yeah. that would be kind of an, an interesting drink, but it's I definitely a lot... I could just put marshmallows lot... in the beer, you know? <laughs> I definitely think it's a lot. It's a lot better now that it's warmed up a bit. Um, wow, I really do like this beer. Mm-hmm. I really, really it's a like good it. Fine. Good job, David. Mm-hmm. And good job. What was the name of the brewery again? Um, Tommy Knocker. Tommy Knocker. Tommy Knocker. Well, Tommy Knocker Brewery. We look forward to seeing more of those where you beers. had too many. You're just like. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, you did a great job with this beer. What would you rate it, do you think? Oh, I almost forgot to rate it. Um, I would definitely do like a four out of a six pack. Mm-hmm. And uh, especially for these, for porters, that's that's a lot for me. Yeah. Because I really, you know, it, but it's delicious. It's it's not, it's creamy without being too heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely something for uh, the winter months. You know, I could sit around watching Arrested Development Marathon and you know, drinking this by the fireplace, I'd be happy as a clam. Yeah. So, what about you? I am, really. <laughs> um, yeah, because clams, you know, they're, they're smiling. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I will, you know, I think I'd probably give mine about a four or five out of six pack. I'll say five out of a six pack. Um, you know, I usually like the big finish on porters. That's one of my favorite parts. But... At the same time, the cocoa powder in this just gives it this great bittersweet chocolate feel. And it reminds me of um, literally like if I'm making, you know, um, anything with cocoa powder, like let's say um, truff chocolate truffles or something, and you get some of that cocoa powder and you just taste that. And it's that same thing. You get that bittersweetness and then the flavor's gone. So it it did exactly what it said it was going to do. And I love it when a beer does that. That's really, really cool. So you guys did an awesome job on this. It's oh, yeah. very delicious. And we're looking forward to try to find trying to find more of your products. So. Definitely. And I, like I said, I would definitely recommend it that um, if you want to drink it cold and that's your thing, by all means. You but know. warm it up a but little bit. Warm, but when you buy it at the store and you're walking it through the uh, through the cold to your to your living room, kitchen, whatever, don't immediately put it in the fridge. Try yeah. it out. Yeah. Let it sit for a while. You know, it doesn't have to be like hot. But, you know, no, definitely not. I mean, like, you can still feel a little bit of coolness on the glass. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, if you let it open up, even just five minutes. Close to a room temperature, but not quite at room temperature. A little cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. It was very good. All right. Until next time, you guys. Cheers. Cheers.